John Geradarich lived blissfully in his peaceful new farm home for more than three decades, but new flight paths have made it anything but. He hasn't slept well since, saying the noise is relentless. It can be constant. Every six minutes, one after the other, chasing one another's tails. Air Services Australia today released a report into Brisbane's airspace. Its 50 recommendations include maximising flights over water, reducing noise impacts over houses and better use of the airspace system, not enough to appease noise-weary residents. It doesn't go far enough. We are looking at um, uh, increasing the pressure through protests and rallies. Brisbane Airport Corporation has welcomed the report. We support more flights coming in and out over Moreton Bay because we know that will improve noise. It was a key election issue in the federal seats of Ryan, Brisbane and Griffith, all won by the Greens. What we need is what we know already works, which is what is in place at Sydney Airport. A curfew, cap on flights and more flights arriving and taking off over the bay. But the BAC is against a curfew. Aircraft will come in thicker and faster and the noise will be more concentrated in the lead up to a curfew. But there's no immediate resolution. The recommendations won't be fully implemented for at least three years. Impacted residents say that means they will continue to suffer mentally and physically. Well, some of all our volunteers are um, at times engaging in suicide counselling because people are so distressed. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.